Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we're going to be having a look at the hard drive, the SSD, so that's the old school and the new school, and their uh, quirky love child, the SSHD, which has a hard drive and an SSD inside of it. Okay, so uh, just a refresher for those of you who don't know. What is an SSD? An SSD has no moving parts. It's flash-based storage. It's extremely fast, particularly for random operations, which, especially if you're running something like an operating system, is um, most of what you're going to do. Um, unfortunately, they're quite expensive, and the capacities are quite low. All right, what's a hard drive? Okay, really, guys? Okay, 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 no, no, it's okay. Spinning platters inside and a read head and write head that actually moves around on it physically, mechanically, in order to read and write data to this device. It comes in huge capacities, up to four terabytes for consumer-grade products. And unfortunately, it's not that fast. It's pretty fast for sequential reads and writes. That is, if all the data is in one place, but when those heads got to move around and them disks got to spin all over the place, they can be quite slow, particularly for random performance. So that, my friends, is where SSHD comes in. The SSD that's built in acts as a read cache, although there is a write caching strategy involved as well, so that you can actually read your most frequently used data off of the SSD and then use the hard drive that's built inside for your less frequently used data. It sits somewhere in the middle in terms of capacity, so it comes in up to a two terabyte capacity from Seagate, and it has, well, there you go, it's somewhere in between. In terms of performance, you might think, oh, well, that sounds really confusing to manage, but no. The 8 gig SSD that's built into it actually is dynamically managed by the controller inside the drive, and it really isn't that much more expensive. It's about eh, $20 versus the regular hard drive, so it's dynamically managed, so you never even have to think about it. You just get SSD-like performance, and as you're going to see in the graphs in a moment, it's not quite there, but SSD-like performance in your most frequently used applications with the benefit of extra speed. And one other way to think of this is actually in terms of long longevity because SSDs wear out from writing to them, okay, and hard drives wear out from general use over time, if you can write to your SSD less, that is to say you only commit the most frequently used data to your SSD, you can read from that all day and you don't risk doing any long-term damage to it in terms of wear and tear. And wait a minute, that's also going to save your hard drive because if you're pulling data off the SSD instead of the hard drive where it doesn't wear it out, then that's great for everyone involved. So without further ado, benchmarks. We ran a couple of different benchmarks. So it was operating system boot times as well as game loading times, and StarCraft II was used for the game loading times. And what you can see here is that the SSHD actually performs pretty close to a hard drive on the first run. So there's three runs over there on the left. Then, on the very second run, it has already pretty much learned what it's going to learn, and performance gets closer to an SSD than it is to a hard drive, but because it's not a purely solid state solution, it's never going to get there, as you'll see on the third run, where the performance benefit starts to really, uh, starts to really level off. So there you have it, guys. Let us know in the comments if you think that this learning algorithm and this hybrid type solution is what will be optimal for you, or maybe if it's not optimal for you, tell us someone who you think it might be optimal for. I'm thinking of my mom, because she can't afford like you know a two terabyte SSD, duh, and she wants speed, duh, everyone wants speed, speed is good. So she can't handle having two separate drives and managing where to install things because she's my mom, so there you go. That's the solution. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.